Let's talk about what's new in Android 13 to bring all the benefits of this multi-device future to everyone. There are three big themes we're focused on. First, enabling you to do more with your phone at the center. Second, extending beyond the phone to all the forms of computing people love, like watches, tablets, and more. And third, making all your devices work better together to solve problems and help you throughout your day. Let's start by talking about phones. Android 13 builds on our Material U design language, so your phone has even more ways to adapt to your style. All your app icons can now incorporate your color theme. And there's a new media control that tailors its look to the music you're listening to. I love how the progress bar grooves to the beat. It's super cool. You can even personalize your experience by setting a different language per app. So if you're multilingual, you can use your social media app in one language and your banking app in another. And of course, Android 13 comes jam-packed with dozens of new security and privacy features. But security needs to go beyond your device. When you send a message from your phone to someone else's, you want to be sure it's private and secure. That's why we've worked with carriers and device makers all over the world to upgrade SMS text messaging to a new standard called RCS which can enable important privacy protections, like end-to-end -end encryption. This is a huge step forward for the mobile ecosystem, and we're really excited about the progress. In fact, Google's Messages app already has half a billion monthly active users with RCS, and growing fast. We hope every mobile operating system gets the message <laughs> and upgrades to RCS. So your messages are private, no matter what device you're using. Now, our phones are essential parts of the way we communicate with our friends, family, and loved ones. In fact, these days, there's only two things I don't leave my home without, my phone and my wallet. So the question is, can my phone replace my wallet? Well, today, we're excited to introduce the new Google Wallet. It's a digital wallet for Android that gives you fast, secure access to your everyday essentials. Your Google Wallet securely stores your payment cards, so you can tap to pay anywhere Google Pay is accepted. But Wallet is for so much more than payments. It's a way to unlock more of the world around you. You can show your student ID on campus, board a flight, or start your car. You can even use it as your park pass to explore Walt Disney World. Items that contain highly personal information, like your vaccine card, are stored on your device and not shared with anyone, not even Google. Now, we know it's hard to part with your physical wallet if it doesn't have your most essential item, your ID. So we're working with states here in the US and governments around the world to bring digital IDs to Wallet later this year. <laughs> Starting with driver's licenses. You can share the information in your ID without ever having to give your phone to another person. Simply tap via NFC or use a QR code. Google Wallet will be rolling out to Android and Wear OS devices around the world in the coming weeks. Now, helping you securely communicate with your friends and family and storing your digital identity is really useful. But our phones can be even more essential in difficult moments in life, like emergencies or natural disasters. Two years ago, we developed the first algorithms on a phone to detect when you're in a car crash, 
and automatically call for help. Let's take a look. I've got no recollection of the accident whatsoever. I woke up, I was upside down, and I had diesel fuel dripping on me. In the most powerful voice I had, I screamed out, help, which I knew was pointless, but I heard help is on the way. The phone detected the accident and called 911. It was so much joy when I heard somebody say, we found him, we've got him. I'm getting goosebumps thinking of it at the moment because I wouldn't be here talking to you if it wasn't for that. The car crash detection feature on that phone saved my life. Stories like this have inspired us to do more, to make technology helpful when you need it the most. Later this year, we'll start bringing emergency SOS to where? So you can instantly contact a trusted friend or family member or call emergency services right from your watch. We're also expanding Android's earthquake alerting system to many of the remaining high risk regions in the world. It uses accelerometer data from phones to determine if an earthquake is happening and warn others in the surrounding area, often before the shaking reaches them. You can get off a ladder, take cover, or pull your car over. These extra seconds of warning can save lives. There's so many ways our phones can help us do more. Whether it's helping you securely communicate with friends, safeguarding your digital identity, or getting you help in critical moments, your phone is your most essential digital companion. 